Hello World Wide Web, I'm Decker Shadow, the internet personality of the best hair, and I would like to share some secrets of the editing room. Now, I've been doing my show in 4K for a couple of episodes now, and one of the things is it requires a few tricks, because I'm still using the same rig. I'm still using the same exact computer that I've been using, and that's not exactly good for editing 4K, like, at all. Like that, what you're seeing back there when it was loading, it was the raw 4K file. So, I am in 4K. Drag that down on the timeline. It's all right. You know, it takes a little longer than usual to load in, but it loads in, and boom, there it is. I can move around on it, and I can wait, because it hasn't actually gone to the next part that I clicked over to yet. There, now it finally did. And this is kind of what it's like editing 4K video on this. It's okay. Let's see, I'll do cut right there. Play to get to the next spot I want to. Waiting for it to do anything. And, okay, now, there it goes. Okay, did it... Is it going? I don't know. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm like, is it playing or is it not? I keep hitting the play. It's not moving. Is it paused? I'm not sure. So, there's always, you know, yeah, there it goes. It's playing for a bit, and now it's getting choppy in less than a second, and it's... Yeah, it's not the best. Hit pause right there, and suddenly it jumped forward a whole bunch, because the computer had no idea what the hell was going on, and from the time that I pressed play, that's where it would have been if it weren't lagging so bad. So, yeah, this is not easy to do, so how the fuck can I possibly put my reviews together and be able to edit it quickly? Well, I'm using PowerDirector, and this is mainly with PowerDirector I can confirm that this shit works. This is PowerDirector 13 that I'm using. Now, they're up to 14 now, and all the things should work in that too, and I've been using this shit since PowerDirector 9. The point is, uh, PowerDirector has this feature called Shadow Files, and I, bl I swear it used to be that in order to be able to edit in HD at all, you had to enable them. Otherwise, I wouldn't let you import HD video. But at least right now, and if I'm misremembering -re before 2, uh, you can actually edit HD files with it off as long as you are, uh, you have a powerful enough system. So, I mean, some people out there, if you've got a super rig, you can just chop, 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 no problem, and just work with raw 4K data all day, no no worries, but this is a little helpful tip for people out there who have a shittier rig that can't handle 4K at all, like this, it's like barely working. Now what you do is, first off, you just take your 4K raw data, bring it in, put it on the timeline. That might take a while for it to go through, but it'll work. You could turn on shadow files and just wait a while, and PowerDirector will make a shadow file, but when it comes to 4K, PowerDirector has, it's famously taking for fucking ever, at least in PowerDirector 13, to actually generate a shadow file. So what you do is instead, you just go over to produce with your raw data. And of course it's going to take a while because it's in a 4K file format and it's, you know, this is a guide for someone whose rig isn't particularly spectacular. But nevertheless, I my raw data is in a MP4 file format. Which means I can go over to H26 ABC, go over to MP4, and go to one of my custom profiles, a standard definition widescreen YouTube. As long as it's the exact same ratio, 16 by 9 by, and 16 by 9 between the two of them, I can just choose that, process the data, and boom, it'll go through perfectly fine. And now I've actually already done that, which is good, because that shit takes a while. It doesn't take as long as waiting for that shadow file, but on my system, to reprocess all of that is like a 36 minutes raw data. It takes it like an hour and 20 minutes to process it into the, uh, into standard definition. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to my recent project files, the Tremors 2 review. No, don't save changes. No, don't import this at the same time. I already have that file reprocessed in standard definition with there. And you can see, there I am, and I'm able to play, pause, play, pause, play, pause, cut, move, cut, 
move here, remove that, select that, delete that, undo all of that, and I'm able to do and edit it and go zippy as all hell, and it doesn't matter. It's just Terra. Yeah, you to 4K kitty cat of the internets. We know. Okay, back now quite a bit later. As you can see, the review has been completely edited, but it's still got the standard definition file in there. However, all we gotta do is close out a power director, access our folder, our standard definition file, we're gonna name it something else. I'm gonna change it to Terminus 2 Raw SD. And our 4K file that is MP4 format, so it's got the same extension, and it's the same kind of thing, it's still going to be able to be recognized as the same file in the save file. I'm going to name that Tremors 2 Raw. Now that, the save and the project file is going to recognize as the same thing. So let me see if I can load up PowerDirector again. Yes. Sometimes it doesn't like to shut down when I tell it to shut down. I have to access the fucking task manager. But, lo and behold, what shall be done? Open up the project file. And it's going to take slightly more time to open it up. Not hugely. It's about the same amount of time it takes to import a, 4, a 4K file in the first place a large 4K file. As you can see, it's on importing media, and the bar stopped for a second now. There it goes. Now, updating timeline data. Eventually. And boom! There it is. Tremors 2 Raw MP4. It's the 4K file. I can tell from some of the pixels and from seeing lots of 4K in my time. But in any case, I can tell pretty easily straight away that on the preview screen, that's not the standard definition preview. That is the 4K. It's just the, you can see how sharp everything is. Even though I have a low quality preview, everything is very, it, it's, it's, the pixels are so much more detailed. But I'm going to add a little more, uh, Insurance and then I'm going to process MP4 profile type custom 4K YouTube 30 frames per second. It estimates it's going to be about an 8 gigabyte file. Put that season 4, episode 189. All this. Tremors to review. Boom. Enable preview during production. Start. And as soon as it starts processing, soon. when I worked really hard on that editing. There we go. And you should be able to see as soon as I come into frame because I'll be more in focus than the couch. Yeah, that, you should be able to tell on that well, that's not standard definition there. That is Certainly at least 720p, which, since I was showing the standard definition file, it should be proof enough that at least I was doing a higher file. You know what I'm saying? It's, this is a way that you can do the edits quickly, then change it up and import a completely different file, a completely different uh, thing. It's just the same length, same name, same extension, and it'll work. So... That's a way to get to where you can edit 4K video. It still takes a damn long time to process. This is going to take, it's estimating 2 hours, 30, 5 minutes, and it's increasing. And now it's decreasing. It changes with, depending on exactly how it's doing. But it's probably, in a 25 minute video, it's going to be about 2 hours and 15, 2 hours, 20 minutes. Versus how long it would normally take me of 35 you know, 35 minutes. So it's, yeah, it's 4K, so it's going to take longer to process, but to be able to edit it that much faster when it could be chugging along like that, that is the majorly important part, because you could process while you sleep if you have to. I upload while I sleep. 
because it takes a hell of a lot longer to upload. But it's the editing that is the important part to really make it sure it can go fast. And I hope that this technique can help anyone else out if you're trying to do 4K or if you're just trying to do high definition on a computer that chugs on that. You might be able to use the same technique if you... But though, uh... PowerDirector should be a little better about making shadow files for just straight HD things, though I personally have had issues with their shadow files anyway, because on longer things like full-length movies, once you get past 40 minutes, they tend to get pretty out of sync with their audio, and it's really frustrating when you try want to make very precise frame-to-frame -frame cuts, and things are off and out of the thing, and it's just fucking up in all sorts of ways. Hi, Tara. And so yeah, that's why a couple... I swear that's why there was some editing issues in some of my reviews in the past. Yeah, Tara, it's okay. But anyway, hope this has been helpful, and thank you all for watching. I've been Dr. Shadow, and remember... Everyone on the internet loves cats. And about 10% right now are typing in how dare that man abuse that animal by picking it up like that. Ain't that right, Tara? <laughs>